Hello everyone, welcome to the first live we've ever done with the mum right here. So hello, say hello to you, mum. Hello. <laughs> you don't need to shout so much. Hello. Okay, so as promised, we are going to be doing a chicken fried rice. So what you need right now, it's not showing up very well, but that's rice. And this has been left overnight. Now we've had a few people um, ask, why is it going clumpy? Well, the rice goes clumpy like this. Don't rinse it underwater again. You want it like that. You're trying to dry it out in the fridge. And yes, cover it. I didn't mention this in the last video on the fried rice, but when you put it into the fridge, you need to cover it. If you don't cover it, you get this weird top crispy layer. Don't you? Yeah, you pull your filling out. Yeah, it pull your fillings out. <laughs> exactly. It will actually pull your fillings out. Um, no, so... I may not say I mean quite your taste. <laughs> okay, so, Mum, yeah. if you'd like to go around the other side. Okay. Um, welcome everyone. If you're just joining us, make sure you hit that like button. Um, so yeah, we're going to show you how to do it all from the beginning. We normally refer to old videos, but we're going to show you how most takeaways will actually do. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey AK, hey Heidi. Um, we're going to show you from the start. So first you'll need your light soya. Gloves, have you got it? Yeah, don't do what I do and just use my fingers. Yeah. But this is for us, so it's fine. Spoon. Yeah? Yeah. What? That soya? You only need a small amount. It's just... To, this is literally used to colour the rice. Just a small amount. No, more than that, actually. <laughs> so, this is around 200 grams of... What's up, William? How's it going, Dennis? Heart735, how's it going? How's it going, Colin? And Neil, nice to see you all guys in. Yeah, so you need to mix that up. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get the colour in. A lot of people we've known in the past have tried to fry their rice so it goes brown. The rice won't go brown. It's literally just the um, dark soya. Look, doing now it. she's getting it colour, been in under the sun. Yeah, it's got a nice tan. Yeah, just into Barbados and back. We don't recommend using soya sauce as sunscreen, so... Um... <laughs> yeah, you could try. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you want a pinch of MSG that goes in. Yes. Two pinches. You want a pinch of salt that goes in. And you're going to need about a dessert spoon of light soya. This gives it um, the saltiness. You can just use light soy if you don't want to use salt, but you'll end up using the same amount of salt anyway. It's just in a liquid form. And a tiny pinch of sugar. I'd put a bit more um, soy in that, Mum. Looking a bit light. Don't worry if you can't um, run your fingers all the way through and get these small bits out. You actually use the back of your spatula, which is this to knock the, um, all the lumps out, basically. How's it going, Richard, Sal, Nigel? Sorry if I haven't seen your comment, guys. We're focusing on the cooking at the moment. It's concentrating. Yeah, it's concentrating, cool. yeah. <laughs> We're gonna now do the egg. This is so simple. Um, so simple, we forgot to get a fork. Right, crap, yes? Yeah. One, two, three, crap. And then a pinch of salt. Someone asked the other day, why do we season every layer? And in the words of um, Gordon Ramsay, season, season, season. If you don't season every layer, you tend to have, if you just put the seasoning in the rice, it, the flavor doesn't go all the way through. It's, it's just not, um, it's not the best way to cook, to yep. be honest. Yep, so you whisk. Um, beat it, beat it. Nice Michael Jackson rendition then. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know. You don't okay. know any other Michael Jackson songs? No. Thriller. Any others? Billy Jean. Billy Jean. What's your favourite? I can't, I, I can't think of it on top of my head. Yeah. I used to love Michael Jackson when I was a kid. Yeah. Anyway. Now come to the cooking. Yeah. If you guys haven't um, been seen a couple of our last videos, Morrison's actually do a version of this chicken, which is, I believe, 
Um, 80% and 20% moisture, well water basically, and 20% chicken. That's the kind of um, mix you're looking for. So we're going to need oil, Mum. Yep. About two dessert spoons of oil, and that Pampers. gets added to a hot pan. Nearly did a schoolboy error right there. Okay, so we're going to let this heat up. Unfortunately, because we can't edit, we're going to have to stand here for about three or four minutes. Yeah. yeah. Hello. <laughs> you cannot see us, is it? No, they can't see us, no. Okay. Don't worry. Mum's wearing her pyjamas. That's why yeah. she's, she's worried that you can see her. Oh. So, um, hope everyone's been well. We're just heating this up. Make sure you hit that like button if you like what you see. If you don't, that made me sad. So again, you want the pan really, really hot. Yeah, you need really hot for fried rice. We actually recommend um, induction cookers. They get everything really, really hot. Uh, if you can get a three kilowatt induction cooker, Better. Uh, most yes. most of them only sell what one point six, isn't it? Yeah, one point six kilowatts. Yeah. The um six, the three kilowatt is what we actually use in our shop. Um, we don't use gas anymore. It's safer and it's actually more economical. So. <laughs> yeah, I I do shake the pan with nothing in it. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so it's looking like it could be getting hot. I'm just... Oh, not yet, no. one more minute. Okay, and also when you're using a non-stick pan, actually heating it, if you heat it too much, we'll take the non-stick off. So it's, there's a fine line of getting the pan really hot and destroying it. Put some oil in there, yeah? Yeah. All of it? Yeah. Okay, so the pan wasn't quite hot enough then. There's something in it now, so I will shake it. <laughs> Sorry if I'm missing your comments, guys. I'm not doing it deliberately. It's just that we're um, focusing on the pan. Hot stuff and oil is always... You have to be extra careful. Yeah, always got to be careful when you cook it. Yes. It's probably a bit too much oil in there, actually. Okay, so that's fairly hot now. What we're going to do is, the trick is you always go with onions first when you're doing takeaway style cooking. It's just what they do and it's it gets a nice caramelization on the onions. Okay, Mum? A few more, a few more bits. I like quite a few onions in my fried rice. Okay. And you want to sort of let them sit in the pan for a bit and then you move them. Don't move them straight away. Don't worry, it's not going to run away, okay? Yeah, pretty much. It's not going to run away, there. Okay. So these will start catching quite quickly. In goes the chicken. Oh, Mum, you just knocked the camera. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Just go like that because there's moisture in it. So like I said before, um, this 80% chicken can be found in Morrison's, I believe. Thank you, Mooncake, um, for no Meadow Cakes, for pointing that out to us. That was very nice of you. Um, yeah. So now in goes some spring onions. Also, if we are doing prep videos, actually, we're filming prep videos. We filmed quite a few at the moment. I just need to edit, edit them. Um, I'll show you how to boil the chicken. It's so easy. All you're doing is boiling it till it's cooked and then you're cutting it up. Um, but yeah, we, we've got videos for that. So in goes some um, peas. Now, this may be different where you are, but every takeaway in the southwest of Somerset always puts peas in their fried rice. I don't know why. I don't know why. They just do. Um, I don't know what it's like with you guys. So I've seen a lot of places use mixed vegetables rather than... Um, peas is nice. Isn't it? I prefer peas, yeah. yeah. Uh, now you need seasoning. 
So, what? MSG. Yeah, so in goes about half a teaspoon of MSG. You need quite a lot because rice without it is quite bland. You need um, about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then we brown that off. Browning off is so important. A lot of places um, don't do it, but if you don't, in my opinion, if you don't do it, you end up with sort of lackluster fried rice. Loads of people scaremonger MSG. It's all been debunked in the last 10 years. It was a myth created, yeah, through poor science, basically. So if you're scared of it, don't be. It's got one sodium, iron then, um, salt. It's naturally found in human breast milk, mushrooms, seaweed, parmesan cheese, tomatoes. In goes the rice now. You want to let the, sorry, I just realized I've been doing all that without explaining what I was doing. I was just cooking the um, eggs off. So you get tiny little omelette things, if that makes sense. Go in goes the um. All of them. Yeah. This is quite an easy dish. Now this here may look like I'm being weird and just tapping the rice. What I'm actually doing is I'm knocking the small chunks of rice out. This also sort of softens it up. If you don't do this, you tend to get a grainy. Um, fried rice rather than a nice soft one. And also by tapping it you get the, the yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah, you take over mum, yeah, it's fine. fine. No, take it. <laughs> you go on. <laughs> I mean, you were meant to be cooking anyway, I just got carried away. Right, tapping it and also you get the rice directly onto the heat, it gets hot. You know, what, I don't know what it means. Uh, Sal, you are correct, it doesn't taste right without MSG. Yeah, um, MSG is a naturally occurring flavour hand, so like I said before, it's in human breast milk. Um, so if it's good enough for your babies, you can eat it. Go on. There's a lot of myths surrounding it, but like I said again, poor science from the early 70s. I'm actually putting links on, um, since it's been debunked, of all the research and stuff in our more recent videos, you can go check out all the research that has actually proven all of that poor science wrong. So, it's actually quite near done, and this is quicker than I thought it was gonna be. We've been on for about 13 minutes now, so from start to finish, this is probably only taking 15 minutes. This is at home. See the rice is softened now, yeah? Yeah, and <laughs> in mum's famous words, they move like maggots. Can you see? It kind of sticks together and then falls apart ever yeah. so softly. How's it going, Graham? Just seen you in. It's a really odd way to explain. The only way I can explain it is it sort of sticks to itself and falls. Like, like I tell you what, like when you have a non newtonian Liquid, so like cornstarch or something. It holds its shape and then falls like that. So it's pretty much done. I'd say, what, another minute? Yeah. We're not actually used to standing around and waiting to see how is it going. I guess everything you just said there, guys, it popped up and it went away, sorry. Um, yeah, thank you. I can't do jokes, I wish I could. I do look a lot like Michael McIntyre, I've been told. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, and now when it's near the end, you want to add um, a little bit of sugar. Not too much, literally a pinch. This takes a, a, the slight bitterness away from the soy, which can get quite bitter once it's been cooked. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's 
Done. There, it's done. So that was a 15 minute fried rice. I thought it was going to be quicker than that actually. Um, at work, that would only take us about seven minutes. But like I said, our cookers are much faster. I don't know if it will try it very quick. The pot boiling up. Enjoy eating. I wonder, did anyone cook along? Because I tried to put up the ingredient list earlier. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So we're going to finish eating this. Um, maybe crack a gin and tonic. And talk about our next videos. Um, we've got the garlic prep video coming soon. We've got the noodle prep video soon. Um, chicken prep video again coming soon and then after this we're doing prawn toast prawn toast so the next actual tutorial video will be prawn toast after that will be spare ribs um, and then we need our patreons to decide what the one after that will be so yeah also we've got some new stock on our website so if you'd like to visit that by all means do if you don't want to stop by that's fine as well we just really appreciate you guys stopping and watching our videos it's awesome um, yeah, so thank you. Also, if you are ordering online, the parcels are delayed a little bit because of just the time of year. That's that's what I've been told. So yeah, so if you've ordered, don't worry, it will get to you soon. It's um, yeah, it's, it's just a because Christmas it's rush. Christmas rush, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna eat some more. Mm. So thanks, guys. Um, I was really sorry I, we couldn't answer all of your things on here we just can't write read them quick enough anyway we're off now and thank you for stopping by everyone who made it you've made the live stream lovely and yeah so that's how you make a chicken fried rice do you want to say bye mum bye no thank you guys for everything you guys have been amazing yeah. cheers guys bye bye amazing happy cooking happy cooking happy eating <laughs>